to talk about new emerging technologies in the life of a kid in the future. Whenever we envision a futuristic world, we typically think of flying cars, robots serving humans, and the ability of blink, and you have it. For us kids, the future isn't really difficult to imagine. Well, really for kids who are born after Google, nothing is too difficult to imagine. Also, for kids like me, who know how to manipulate their indulgent parents, the ability of blink, and you have it, is already a reality. The new emerging technologies that we have been hearing about, such as driverless cars, drones that do deliveries, and household appliances that actually think and talk with each other. Yes, I am talking about the Internet of Things, are really easy to accept for us kids. They just seem like the obvious, logical, next step forward. I would now like to play a short video which shows the use of new emerging technologies in the life of a kid in the future. Mechanoid, I am bored. Dance with me. Mechanoid, I feel like having chocolate milk. The refrigerator bot tells me chocolate milk is on its way and should arrive in 2 hours 17 minutes. Mechanoid, I want chocolate milk now. Can't we get some at the grocery downstairs? Must add money, insufficient balance in my digital wallet. But we don't need much for chocolate milk. Based on my physical store shopping logs, on the last 3 visits, you bought 4 unplanned items from the candy aisle. Mechanoid, just walk with me to the grocery store. I feel woozy. Insufficient battery. Must order batteries through Amazon Dash. robot that you just saw in the video is Mechanoid, a robot I built two years ago. Of course he does not talk back to me right now, but in the future he will have that ability. The famous British science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Before we proceed further, I have a question for the audience. How many of you here are Harry Potter fans? Wow, it looks like I'm surrounded by Potterheads. Well, I too am a big fan of Harry Potter. Until my last birthday, I was quite hopeful that I will get a letter of acceptance from Hogwarts. But then my birthday passed and I had to grow up. Sad life. J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World has been created with such precision and detail that it is not difficult for kids to believe that it is real. Therefore, the outlandish world promised by future technologies and artificial intelligence doesn't seem impossible for us. When we look at our reality through the lens of the Harry Potter world, it almost seems as if our world is playing catch up with the Wizarding One. Let me elaborate with some examples. First, the simpler ones, such as Lumos and Nox. In the visiting world, Lumos is used to fill the room with light, and Nox is used to extinguish all of the light, or to darken the room. In the real world, we, on, on our phones, we can simply say Lumos, and the Google Assistant will switch on the flashlight, and Nox will switch it off. Also, we can program Amazon Alexa with some smart lights and use our voice to turn on and turn off the lights. We can also program her to do many other things. Let me give you a demonstration. I hope it works. Hey Alexa, how are you feeling today? I've gotten a little chatty about cricket, pop culture and movies. If you're in the mood for a listen, I'd be happy to share my musings. Just say, 
talk to me about pop culture. We can also talk to her in Hindi. For example, Hey Alexa, Mera naam kya hai? Tumhara naam Manvi hai. Hey Alexa, Who is the smartest person in this room? Everyone knows it is you and we. Hey Alexa, which is the best business school? That's simple. It's FMS New Delhi. That was an interesting conversation. As you might have guessed, I have programmed Alexa to say certain things at certain times. These are called routines. They are so simple that any kid can do them. Now, let's talk about the Weasley family clock. In the visiting world, Mrs. Weasley created this clock to keep tabs on her huge family and to keep an eye on where they might be. So this shows us location of different family members. Well, in the real world, we can use the Google Maps location sharing feature. So that's how I track my dad when he says I have left from work. I can see if he's actually left or is just being his usual self. So we have in the real world very easy to make moving photographs. Now let's talk about some more complex examples of the visiting world in reality. For example, the summoning spell. When a wizard says Accio and the name of the object, the object comes to them. So if I said Accio mic, the mic would come to me. Tesla has built this feature into its new cars. So for example, it's raining outside and your car is parked there. Or you're simply too lazy to get up and go to your car. Well, with the press of a button, you can summon the car to come to you. Please watch the video. As you can see, the man has summoned his car with an app on his phone. This is a great example of how the visiting world and magic meet reality. Now let's look at teleportation. When wizards turn 17, they can apparate and disapparate. These, this allows them to materialize in different places. Boy, that would sure make travel easier. So in the real world, we use the holographic presence. This allows us to share a common environment with others in a way that we can feel their presence through holograms. Is an example of the holopresence technologies from Microsoft, although this technology is still in its early stages. All of these supposedly magical tasks have become real due to artificial intelligence. And unlike me, AI wasn't just born yesterday, it has been around for years. AI has evolved and matured over the years. So, while 20 years ago it took Deep Blue more than a year of playing chess to finally beat Garry Kasparov, the world chess champion, today AlphaGo can learn the game Go in just four hours and beat the world reigning Go champion in just four days. This shows us that technology and artificial intelligence is sooner than later becoming faster and better at doing tasks than humans. So, if you ask me, in the future, the only limiting and differentiating factor for us kids will be our creativity and our imagination. We already live in a world where when we speak out our thoughts, they are transcribed by the computer. And in the future, our thoughts will be transcribed by the computer and with the support of AI and next generation 3D printing, they will be turned into a reality. So if you can dream it, you can make it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.